Hello, baby gangsters. This is Calvin Olsen and Zormer, and this is my first ever playthrough of Life is Strange. And and so much is happening. So much is happening, and so quickly. That's actually kind of scary. Um, we change the future, or change the present, I should say, by going into the past. We're not quite sure how we've done it yet. But I think we're probably going to get answers as time goes on. Basically, like, you know, Chloe is, is paralyzed now. Um, and like I said in the last one, you know, you, you know, you're not dead when you're paralyzed. You still live your life. You're still a person. There's nothing, you know, wrong with being disabled. Um, it's just, I think one of the things that is, is, is worrying, I suppose, is that like, what else have we changed? You know, you know, th is this going to be a good life for everyone here? Is this an acceptable life for everyone here? Is everyone happy? Um, we're friends with Nathan Prescott. We're sitting down with Nathan Prescott, which is like, unless he's like, in this timeline, he's changed completely, which it doesn't make sense that he would be changed completely. He still has those rich parents who enable him. This is really beautiful, by the way. I love how they do the opening sequences of these uh, stories. Unless he has changed completely, it's it's not... Um, we're, you know, I don't want to be friends with someone who's awful. Victoria is also our friend who mentioned the Vortex Club, and we're in the Vortex Club too. This is so pretty. It's so pretty. And I don't want to be, I don't want to be part of no Vortex Club. This is gorgeous. It's nice that they're giving us something gorgeous after that whirlwind, after what happened last time. Episode 4, The Dark Room. But it's, it's, just, it's just worrying. It's definitely worrying. At least we're with Chloe. We're having a chat with Chloe with her, with her pants, our white pants. It's just a lot, right? It's a lot to take in so quickly. Um... With, with Chloe, you know? It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. To us, to, to us, it felt like we hung out last week. It was nice that you sent me actual letters. It's more than any of my other friends have done. And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. It's so Max, so oh. pretentious. I love writing on it like an English poet. You deserve the best stationery. So I'm assuming that right and to visit me. the reason she crashed is because you got her own car, that red car, way. Not from her dad. You right? Her dad got her a car that crashed, is what we're getting from those pictures. Uh, pretty much, yeah. But the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. Yep, there you go. I still want to laugh and talk shit. Yep, one hundred percent, one hundred percent. Like you don't want to baby her. Seriously, the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. See, without you here, I'd have no clue. Bet you could take some amazing shots. Those beached whales are so sad. I kind of know how they feel. At least. I'm alive here with you. You're a real survivor, Chloe. I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels... There we go. Okay, so I, I... Yeah, the, the image of her getting the car. Um, no, we're not blaming William. So talk about accidents. So, like, I think blaming William would be... Terrible. Are you okay to you know, talk about the accident? We definitely shouldn't do that. Actually have, huh? There's not much to say. Some prick in an SUV cut me off and I flew into a ditch. Do you Freak accident then? Remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and oh. and that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. Oh my god. Can you imagine like feeling that though? When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm just happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. You mean Rachel? Like that girl, so she never made friends with Rachel Amber. You mean Rachel Amber? So she still went missing. When was the last time you talked to her? Uh, never. I just read about her in the news. I didn't even know her name. You did? This is 
such a different world than when we were yeah so, so she didn't even After have that strong relationship with Rachel the end of the world. <laughs> should we say it might be because like I'll say you think we'll get we'll expand on her what she thinks do you think so I, uh, you know what I mean we'll I expand on her what what she details. she believes in this I have more time on my hands than you plus I'm a science nerd but none of this makes sense. I know things seem out of control, but as long as we're together, I don't feel afraid. Yeah. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe, I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. That was wrong. <laughs> You're my best friend. Max, thanks for coming out to see me. This is so sweet. You're I'm so awesome. emotional though. I don't think so. Um, my my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place. It is hella cold out here. It is hella cold. Hella? I hate that word. You hate that word? None taken. It is it is hella emotional, if I could say that. Uh, to have these two together and you know, I think it's just because it's again, like I said, it's such a strong feeling because it happens so fast in our world. Even though this has been years of Chloe dealing with this and her family dealing with the accident, um, but for us, it was just like a split second into like going over to her house and realizing this. It literally, in the space of two minutes, everything happened. We stopped her dad from dying, um, and then ended up seeing her. <sighs> yeah, like this. It just doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel good at all. And it's weird that she didn't have a conversation with Rachel Amber as well. And also we didn't set the fire in the house. <laughs> you know what I mean? So her the, the garage that was David's garage is now her room. Why is the TV over there? I know it's hard for them. TV should be facing the bed. I don't care what anyone says. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Pathetic, I know. Chloe, you're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive when you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I can't even imagine. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. Yeah, she's been through a lot. I, uh, <clears throat> she's been through a whole hell of a lot. Uh, can you can you bring me some water? See, that's the thing as well with um, with this, like you know, it's it's, you know, how do how do you deal with this as Max? How do you process this? I would not be able to. I should offer to put makeup on for Chloe. Not that I can, but it would be fun. Well, you're not good at makeup? Oh, so it's a mouth control joystick for... Whoa, Chloe can totally control her computer. It's so great people yeah. get this high-tech help. It's pretty awesome. So it's a computer, not a TV. Okay, that's my bad. That's my bad. There's the old Chloe. That is so incredible. And she can browse cat videos on the web. She sure can. She sure can. So that's her water. But I think... Max, it is so cool that you're here again. I'm glad you think so. I mean, it's cool. But again, like I, like when I say how is Max going to process this, I, I hope you guys understand that it's still me processing this as well. Like I'm still not fully processing this. Oh, the snow dough. I guess not everything changed. The one we broke in the room. Snow globes are taking over. Good. Snow globes are awesome. Really cool decoration. As long as you clean them, you know? Hello, Chloe. <laughs> she likes fluffy animals now. She must. Does Chloe look at the garden and think about her childhood? She can't even feel the grass now. Oh man, Max. Max. You're really my only friend who kept in touch. 
I should have kept more in touch. That's hard too, man, when your friend, like... Because I have to meet, I imagine that it would make you feel like a bit of a burden if people aren't getting in, t in contact with you, you know what I mean? That must be her mighty morphine machine. You know what I mean? I can only imagine. Um, also, you have different... We can't even read her old stuff because it's not a part of the world yet. Oh, we've messages from everyone. And Nathan? They're all locked. September 4, 2013. So much to do. I wish I could slow down time, especially to register all the cool things that happened since I'm back in Arcadia. Blackwell rules. September 21st. Yes, I'm older thanks to Vic and Nathan. I'm a bit more fashionable too. Vic? Vic? They surprised me with the most beautiful straw, poke, uh, straw pork pie hat wrapped up in Feroshi style. Best birthday party ever. Also drunk as I can't sl <laughs> Janet, Marty, who are you people? That's how I feel right now. Patrick seeing his fake parents. Hey, dear, di dear diary, remember me? Busy. She, hadn't, she didn't write in a month. Oh, you too cool to write in your diary now? Busy, busy, can't right now, must shoot, must live behind, uh, must be friend, should rekindle with Chloe too, but must vortex first, party time. My name is Max Caulfield, ever since I was a little kid, I didn't want to be a photographer. I've always seen the world through my own lens, maybe it's a way for, a part of me, a way for me to be part of the world, but at a safe distance. Uh, for some reason, I always, um, I'm always drawn to old analog camera gear rather than digital tech. I love all kinds of styles and techniques, but for me, the instant camera selfie is the one I love most. I don't care if people make fun of me or not. I'm in great company, right? And now I've come all the way back to my childhood home to study photography at Blackwell Academy, a private school for 12th grade seniors, and on scholarship even. I originally left, uh, left uh, behind Chloe, my best friend forever, at least until I left without ta talking to her in fonts in five years. So it's the same thing, I think. I think it's the same story but i want to read these messages Alyssa. it's a shame that you hang out with those people i thought you were different Alyssa. i saw you throw toilet paper at me oh my god i was not aiming at you i swear don't do it max <laughs> what is happening max you busy girl avoiding homework as usual i told you i'd help out you never let me help what is happening okay drama stop and you can help me by caring I do try. By the way, I scored that killer bud from you know who for your information. Save me a bowl. I gotta bounce. Talk to you later. Come on by my room tonight. <laughs> Taylor. Yeah. Oh God. Oh God. Max, thanks again for taking me to my mom. See my mom. I think uh, she wants you for a daughter instead of me. I think not. Your mom was badass like you. Yeah, I cried like a bitch. So did I. You just didn't see me. It's okay to cry. It gets old. My stupid phone was about to die. So call me back. So she is friends with these people, and they seem like they actually are caring towards Max. Wait. Happy birthday, Maxine. We can't believe it's 18 years since you were uh, you brought to us. Maxine, this is your mom. We need to talk about some of your bills. The phone bills? Are you there? Max, you didn't respond to the happy birthday message? Give me some time to answer. I just can't just text in every class. Some teachers get super pissed when they use their phone. Then text outside the class. Text your mother back. Because it's super rude and please don't be snippy. Sorry, long day of homework. You're not the only one. And that's why we're wondering if you need to spend if you need to spend so much. We want you to have everything you need, but your scholarship doesn't cover everything. You said I could use your credit card when you needed it. I only bought film, not a camera. Maybe it's time to go digital. I'll call you later. I have to go. Don't pout. I love you. Honey, honey, I hope you don't forget to water the plant we gave you, but don't drown it either. Mommy, she's a different person. So Max has now adopted her old, her personality from the other world into this world now. It's, she's texting in class. That's not like her. She just takes pictures in class. Chloe text. Hello, Max. This is William. If you want to contact Chloe, you can use this number. This was on the 27th of March, months ago. See you soon, I hope but so, bye. Then later on in August, Hey Chloe, Maxine here. I know it's been a while, I just want to let you know that I'm going to Blackwell Academy now. Hope this is still your number. Max is, she texted back so quickly. Max is back, Blackwell, this is so awesome, you rule. Best of all, we can hang again, so yes, this is still my number. Cool, I've got a bottle of homework, but we'll get together soon. Don't tease me, it's been so long. 
I know I'll see you soon, 8th of the 11th. Jesus Christ. <laughs> no more bombs for her. Feels like a different world now. I feel like it's a different Max. Oh man. No wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I've talked this much. Yeah, you get used to talking. I talk podcast? for three hours every day. I wish I could punch your face right now. A podcast? Dude, I am a pod in a cast. Boring. Ouch. It was just a thought. I know you're just trying to help. <sighs> yeah, that's become a bad habit of mine. You sound like an adult now. It seems like we were kids in another life. Seems like yesterday. To me, it, it seems like yesterday we were little brats here. Oh, you watch Power Rangers? Like I used Power to watch. Rangers. I used to watch Power Rangers. Wild Force. In the kitchen. Oh my god, we covered everything in flour, <laughs> even my parents. That was so hilarious. <sighs> but a long time ago. That was my favorite Power Rangers. You're the only person that I grew up with. Who so everyone just doesn't contact you, you then. See, I can't keep all my other friends away. Which friends? Which friends did you hang out with the most? Megan Weaver, but you don't know her. She was cool. But after my accident, she was too cool for school. I know I wasn't around much. No excuses. So heartbreaking. I'm a loser. But it's really, really sad, isn't it? Trying to make things right. How? Dude, you're not super max. And I'm not trying to get Yeah, I don't get the vibe that she's trying to guilt us at all. <laughs> uh, they love you. They love you so much. You could tell in the way William opened the door. My mom the way she okay. opened the door and said, and said Chloe, Max is here. With me. I think Joyce and William are incredible. Max, the accident has been so hard on them. Our insurance sucks. Yeah, America, man. Medical bills are fucking insane. Effed. I, I bet. I, I bet. bet. From what I've heard from Americans. Be crazy expensive. Along with the drugs, the nurses, the supplies. Mom and dad are always broke and they get so frustrated. Is it worth it? Chloe, you're priceless. Uh, no pun intended. <laughs> you are such a geek. That's why I love you. Of course, I know a geek when I be one. See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. It would be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie like when we'd Let's do it. My house. Let's do it. What do you want to watch? Uh, I think I'm in like a, a mellow oh. Blade Runner mood. I always cry at the end. Plus, you know, I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Pris. I know. You would look incredible with blue hair. Now let's get this show on the road. Why don't we dye your hair? Can we dye your hair? You sleep on me like you always do when we watch movies. I remember, Max. I swear I won't fall asleep. Not when you're here. Not yet. Max, like, like we said she'd have a style before. I think this style is, like, less of a personality than what she had before. At least the zip-up hoodie, at least, at least the t-shirts she had, had, like, like were her. You know? At least she had, like, a, like, like, a, like, unicorns and stuff on it. Oh my god. I made Fire that power. for her when we were 12. <laughs> you know what's nuts about that, though? Like... We still care so much, and obviously we care so much. And I'm happy that we care so much. Um, but she's been so strong about this, and it is tough. <sighs> Here's the DVD. And also, I love, I absolutely love that they are um, using actual references to real things, like Blade Runner, Power Rangers, you know, real bands. The reason I love it so much is because it like it, it makes the world feel more real. It's not just like, hey, do you love the, the runner of blades and the ranger powers? You know, like it makes the world feel real. This is so sweet. But how do you like again, like again, it is like as much as I'm processing this, Max has to process this. She still does. Like everything has changed in the world once again. Her whole her whole present has changed. It's not just the stuff with Chloe. She's now friends with a goddamn sicko. And Victoria. 
I don't think Taylor's that bad, but she's still bad. Did you stay here all night? Your shoe game has gone up at least. I cannot believe you fell asleep so fast. How dare you? I know you were beat down after the day with me, and Blade Runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night. Uh, do you do you think Deckard is a replicant? I've never seen it, sorry, so I can't I can say. See you're not wide awake like me. No, I'm sorry I crashed so hard. Were you okay? I do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me. You are a bitch in the morning. It's the company I keep. Yesterday was such a blast. It was great seeing you. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates, jumping and running through the forests again. It meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. Um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, can you pretty please yeah. go upstairs and get of course. My, my morphine injector in the bathroom? Morphine injector? It's, uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, my parents keep the swag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. But you can, Max. Wait, should we be doing this then if the parents are keeping it aw away oh, from her? Chloe. But like, I, okay, like... You know what I mean? Is this something we should be doing? God damn, the pills never end. They gave Chloe their giant expensive HDTV, and they use her shitty tube television. Of course they do. Like, the, the, again, I could tell from the tone in his voice when he opened up the door. Victoria, leave me alone for a bit. I'm looking around. <laughs> damn. This is just for Chloe's basic supplies. How much? Oh my god. Recently, a friend of mine in the Irish system um, went to hospital, spent the night there, kind of like getting bandaged up and stuff like this. And they got the bill recently, and it was like a hundred. And people tell me like in America, that's like way more, like to get bandages and get like, you know, fixed. Jesus Christ, man. Criminal. It's, it's, it's should be criminal. Bonjour. That's great they finally went to Paris. Wait, what? <laughs> you okay? You okay, game? To think that our destiny is linked to goddamn car keys. Hey, William. Um, oh, he looks problem? tired. Why, yes, Max. I love going through bills. <laughs> Kidding. How can you bother me? I haven't seen you in forever. He's such a sweetheart. Oh. You look exactly the same. <laughs> it's so cool. Good. Or I'd be scared if I didn't look like me. <laughs> of course, you seem more adult now. So what's on your mind? Um, Joyce, how's Joyce? Being around you and Joyce again is so nostalgic. Very old school, as they say. <laughs> I think it's great for Chloe to see you. Makes Joyce happy, too. So, it's not all bad news in Arcadia Bay. Or is it? I mean, I'm friends with Victoria, so yes. What about the Prescott family? The Prescott family might be bad news. What do you think about them? Evil. Next question? Sounds like you know them well. More than I want to. But Joyce has to work for those greedy bastards at Panda Oh, she's not working at the diner. I don't even like to think about it. The crazy weather, man. What do you think is going on with all of this crazy weather and animals dying? Nobody knows, right? It is Nostradamus type shit, pardon my French. But all I actually care about now is Chloe and Joyce. My family. I was reading about that missing girl. Rachel Amber. Oh, yes, yeah, she went to Blackwell, right? Oh, poor thing. That's a real nightmare for a family. 
I get scared thinking about Chloe and that we might lose her someday. Um, the Paris trip? So you finally made it to Paris. Oui, as they say. <laughs> Not me, because I can't speak French. <laughs> but it was a great experience, especially for Chloe. Yeah. I can see her loving it there. You guys rock for going on a family adventure like that. She talked about going to school there, but that's not practical anymore. It's not fair, Max. I like, again, like, if, uh, crossing the arms, but I really feel like, yeah, it's like, as a parent, you don't process this for years. The person themselves, I feel like, you know, if you're in that situation where you are paralyzed, it's not a matter of like, oh, can I process this? It's a matter of, I have to try and process this so I can live my life because they still are living. They still are alive. They still can live a good life. And, you know, they're not, it's not the end of their road. You know what I mean? It's not the end of the road. And I should never look at it like that. Um, yeah. I don't know how to say this, but. So I'm it's, it's difficult. It's difficult for everyone around. It is. Me too. All it takes is a few minutes to change a girl's whole life. But she's alive. Yep. She's been a trooper. Um, let's not make this about us. We'll say glad you're here. She is amazing. I'm so glad you're here to help her. And be her father. I'm so glad Joyce is here to help us both. Max, I just hate to think of what would happen to Chloe if I wasn't here. William, I just want you to know that whatever happens, I'll always be here for Chloe. Always. Yeah, we should make it an effort to, to do that, will, to do that going forward. I was impressed by Chloe's room and all the high-tech equipment. You should be. We could buy a few mansions for what it all costs. The insurance helps, but uh, I don't know, Max. I know it must be hard on you guys financially. These bills are more like crushing. We have to mortgage our home, and that's pretty scary. But... But we'll get through it. Price is always right. Get it? No? I have just, to go see if Chloe needs anything. This is one of the, the, the most terrible so things about... You, um, you act like it's the last time. And please, keep me from these bills whenever you want. Okay, and also, like, we have to process the fact that, like, this man was dead two minutes ago in our in our life. You know what I mean? Like, in, in Max's life, he, he was dead last, like, in last episode, right? <laughs> you know, like, yesterday. To think that our destiny is... Yep, this, was, this changed everything. These car keys changed everything. No change to spare anymore. Now it's back to cookies. Cookies are good too. But yeah, like, um, it's just it's just an exploiter, exploitatory system. A food coupon boss. The, the fact is, if you are... Your system is bad. I don't care. Your system is bad. If... You have to decide whether you want to go to the hospital or not because you can't afford it. That's bad. It is bad. I don't care what anyone says. Joyce and William never had a garage sale before. That's it. Should they probably to make make ends meet? We won't look at their mail. I mean, you know, you guys are saying yeah, it's it's, it's a good idea to like you know snoop a little They're bit, drowning but drowning in debt just to take care. Oh of Oh my god! Such bullshit. They owe almost four grand on a credit card as well. I'm personally debt free, but that's because I grew up in a place where things were actually pretty affordable. Um, and also, you know, I got, I got free healthcare for a very long time too. Is this supposed to be Chloe's room? But what does it look like now? It's just empty. I can imagine it's not easy to just turn your daughter's room into something, right? It's not like, oh, I, I'm gonna, like... Because you'd imagine, you'd be like, oh, I'll turn this into a... You know, a, a... A bowling alley or something. But the reality is, it's like, you don't want to, like, do that. You don't want to, like, touch it. Like, obviously, they remove some stuff to bring some stuff down to Chloe and stuff. But, like, you don't want to get rid of this stuff. Shoes. <laughs> Chloe always did love stomping around in her boots. I never heard much about William's brother. 
Sorry for not staying in touch since the accident. Work has been piling up and I'm being sent to Salt Lake City to oversee a new parking lot. Uh, you have to go where the work is these days. I wish I could have sent you a bigger check, but you know, story, money is nobody's favorite thing. Maybe I'll see you next spring for a visit. Kiss Chloe and Joyce for me. Hang in there, Billy. Your brother, Aaron. So even he's helping out a bit. He sent him a check. Um... I'm still overwhelmed by this new It is yeah, it is overwhelming and, and she should take a few minutes. I know she wants to make sure so Chloe's okay. For putting Chloe and her family through this. That's the thing, she feels like she put her to I could give Chloe the choice of keeping William alive. But that that is cruel. cruel. It is cruel. How do you pay how do you decide that? Because But then I see that they're a family again. And who am I to judge? Yeah, also that. It's difficult because like if you went to uh, Chloe and said, do you want your dad to be alive or do you want to be paralyzed? That's a horrific freaking question. Regardless of what way you look at it, that is a horrible, disgusting question that you should never ask anybody. I guess we stopped growing up together. Oh, yeah. Look at this. But at least we never had to hide from step douche. That's another thing. Yeah, at least you didn't have to deal with getting smacked around the place. A blue butterfly? I'm sure this is a total coincidence. Man, coincidences scare me more than anything. <laughs> they really do. They bought crutches for Chloe. Oh. Hoping she might walk. Again. Yeah. Uh, and, and here's the thing. It's like, also, if you went to, to William and said, Hey, William, this would be a rough question too. Hey, you know, would, do you want to be alive or do you want your daughter to be paralyzed? That's not a question you can answer really easily either. But like, I'm sure William would, I know what William would answer. Too bad Joyce and William can't get any help from the Prescott Foundation. The Prescotts could pay all of this. Dear Joyce, thank you for keeping me updated on Chloe's condition. I can only imagine the struggle you and William are going through. I'm so sorry that I can't help you with the loan at this time. Like everyone else, I'm underwater with my own medical bills. Please give Chloe a hug and my best wishes. Love, Aunt Dorothy. Yeah, but that's the thing. It's like, in America, you know, go to the hospital, get bankrupt, man. And like, this is not me, before, I know someone, like, at least one passerby is gonna be like, you know, don't get political or whatever. It's not political to say that, like, you know, those bills are crazy. Those bills are crazy. To, 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 to just have your daughter living, to have a space where your daughter can actually live a good life, it costs, it costs money. It costs that much money. And it is a situation as well where people who are disabled and people who don't not to say, is, is disabled the right word even I, mean, I know it's like like a lot of people use different words like I did a course a while back in um, a, you know people with additional needs and stuff and I understand that like you know some words you don't use anymore because they are kind of like not great um, so like if I'm, if I'm using the wrong word please do correct me but like people who do have like d you know those differences about them and those things that like do like mean they have to live a different life um, they're basically told that like you know, you 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 know, it costs money to, to be able to live a com more comfortable life, and I, I just think it's really cruel. And it's the same everywhere. It's it, like it's not easy here either to get funding. You know, in in European places either, it's not easy. Hey, look at the light switch on the outside. Where does this light? What does this light switch click then? This one here. Like, what does it click? Chloe's like, Max is doing a little I'll search everything thing Nothing again. Here. It's cool that Chloe uses natural medicine too. As a parent, you would try everything though, wouldn't you? You would try everything. The bathroom looks almost the same. Just more medicine. Yeah. We have to do something about this. Okay. I... How's it going, Time Tripper? It's funny. I think I look older. You look older because you're wearing clothes that are that look older. Like in my opinion, these are nice clothes, but I feel like they like make her look a little bit older in my opinion. Like I think that the um like the car like a cardigan's nice and the the colors are nice. But the other clothes suit her just just fine. There wasn't anything wrong with poor Max at that point, you know what I mean? Am I looking in the wrong place? Like It's cool that Chloe Where so look so looks in the cabinet. Is there something we can search for over here? She said in the bathroom, didn't she?
Oh, why did I do this? We searched the drawer, right? Yeah. We searched the cabinet. The bathroom looks almost the same. Is there something I'm missing? What if we turn off the lights? What if they hit it? What if they put it in the, the, the mother's room? Oh, this is. Oh, Max, it is so nice to have you around. <laughs> you okay? We beat in here? I'm looking for some medicine. Is that okay with you? Maybe we can ask her about the medicine. Huh. Joyce used to hate smokers in the diner. Well, things definitely have changed. Good morning, Max. How are you, Joyce? Oh, you and Chloe are so much quieter now than when you were kids. I remember. It's nice waking up in your house again. Oh, William and I love it. Finally seeing you and Chloe together after all these years. After the accident. Um, we'll talk about Chloe first, I, I suppose. I wish I was a better friend. I know Chloe doesn't get many visitors. Oh, Max. You're Chloe's best friend for a reason. You're here exactly when she needs you. I hope so. I hope so. You guys do such an amazing job taking care of her. We can only do so much. And she gets damn sick of her parents. <laughs> That's why it's so important you came to spend time with her. Max, Chloe's condition is not improving. Her respiratory system is very weak. Oh, wow. She yeah, we saw her, she was getting... Do you know what I'm saying? <sighs> Joyce. I'm so sorry you have to go through all this. Bad or good, I embrace every moment with my daughter and my husband. This is what it means to be a family. And we'll always be one. You're such and a good we... person. How are you doing, Joyce? I'm doing the best I can, Max. I won't lie. It's difficult, but nobody said life was easy here in Arcadia Bay. David Madsen? Do you know somebody named David Madsen? He, um, might hang out at the two wheels. Well, that was random. Yeah, he's a, a bus driver. He comes in sometimes. Cute, quiet. Cute? Why? Oh, um, I Cute, was she says. Curious. Do you ever think you you'd marry him were. in a different timeline? Nice to see that everything doesn't change. Plus, you guys have to work too. Uh, Bill and I have no time for ourselves. We're working more than we're living. I even had to take a part-time gig at Pan Estates. Ugh. Do you know the Prescotts? I know that Sean Prescott won't be happy until he owns everything in Arcadia Bay. Stay away from his son, Nathan. Hopefully we can now. So, what do you think is going on here with all of this eco-havoc? Maybe Arcadia Bay just wants to be left alone. I know the feeling. Honestly, I don't give a shit about too much outside our house. I don't blame you, Joyce. Except now we have dead birds and beach whales outside our front door. So maybe I should care, for Chloe's sake. I have to tell you how much I love seeing you and William together again. Together again? He's been such a hero through all this. I guess we can say that because we didn't see Chloe him. Chloe and I are lucky to have him. Is William still the same, Chloe and William? Is William still the same? He seems like such a sweet guy. And again, like, I keep Everything going back to the door opening. For better, you can tell in his voice how sweet he was. But always for the better. I I never thought I'd love a man so much I can't imagine life without him. It sounds corny, I know. You rule, Joyce. Shit. Things would be different if I did. I like how you think, kid. I better get back to Chloe now. So where are we going to find That's this medicine? You said in the bathroom, right? Joyce. It was like an, like an injection without a needle, right? The, the morphine injection. Poor Chloe's probably in, in dastardly pain right now. Look at them. They have no idea what's in their future. With William and Chloe? That 
That is such a sweet shot of Chloe. The hand on the hips, you know? Picture. That's the I don't take pictures often, but I, I, I'll do it for you, Mom. Look, for sure. William is trying so hard. He's still awesome. Dr. Bale. <laughs> he's awesome. He is awesome. And he's a, like a really handsome guy. Like, cuter than um, David Madsen, so. Oh, no. I didn't realize how bad Chloe's injury really was. As we discussed last week, Chloe's respiratory system is showing signs of rapid weakening. The, the, this accounts for her recent anemia and loss of breath. As a doctor, I am committed to well-being, but I want you to understand the reality that respiratory failure is common in people with severe spinal energy injuries. Your daughter is one of the bravest, strongest patients I've ever had, and I'm proud to be working with her. I just want you as parents to prepare for any and all possibility. I believe Chloe should also be made aware of her changing condition. If you would like to discuss it further, you have my contact information. So does she know about this? And I'm just saying to you right now, I will not be telling her this because this seems like it's something that it's good for Joyce to stay in touch with her friends. and William should be dealing with. Not me. It's not me who has to deal with this. It's not, not, not deal with it. It's not me who should have to like do this because then I feel like that's like... Apparently the only thing that hasn't changed is this view. It's bad for the family. Right? It's it's a bad thing to put on the family to, to nuke it and then leave, you know? Um, where is this thing then in the bathroom? Like there's probably like some place I'm just not looking. And sometimes it's like it's like getting a little bit further away from stuff is usually the way to do it. The bathroom looks almost the same. It's like, you already looked in the mirror. How's it going, Time Tripper? It's funny. I think I look older. Did I forget that she, she said, here. did she say something else? It's cool. Maybe, maybe it's in her room? And we just didn't notice or something? That could be the case. Like I, like I'm, I'm, I'm prone to being wrong. Shoes. So the. Yeah, upstairs and get Chloe the medicine. So maybe it's not the bath. I thought she said bathroom though. It's gonna be something really silly. It's gonna be something so silly, and I'm gonna know exactly. Like it's, or, or maybe it's, maybe it's on top of the shelves. Oh, there's another side to the cabinet. Okay. Here it is. <laughs> I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. Of course, yeah, it's not really a laughing matter. I just like laughing at the fact that, I, of course, it was this. Yeah, I don't like if, if she doesn't know about her respiratory system getting worse. Like this is a thing where we have to like tell her or not tell her about it. I'm choosing not to tell her, not because it's like, oh, she's my my friend and I should tell her. It's more of a situation that I don't want to put that like that's like a nuke you drop, and you leave William and oh the doors open, and then you leave William and Joyce to deal with it. Don't look at me through the window. It's going to be awkward. I'm just looking at stuff. Oh, man. The swing is gone now. It must have been sad for Chloe. It's a beautiful house. Chloe actually moved our drawing so she could see it from her room. Chloe. For me, I would, like, get a cage with two chickens. Or, like, a cage with, like, the funniest animal ever. Like, like I don't know. What's the funniest animal? Like... Koalas. I put koalas out here so I can look out, you know? They're the funniest animals. The house looks so Yeah, great. it looks fantastic. William finally had the time to paint the house and fix up the garden. Yeah, I, I do think it looks fantastic. I can't get, like, I, I'm sorry that, like, I'm thinking about this at this moment. I just can't get, I don't think this outfit is Max. I don't think it looks good on her. I'm sorry, Bongo Kitty. Which is kind of sad. But because you passed on before I changed this reality. I think, I think it, like, like, she still looks, she's a pretty girl. It's, she's still pretty. But it's just a matter of, like, I don't know, what suits her. And if she likes it, she likes it. That's good. But it doesn't feel her like her. The flannel fed like her. When she had the flannel, that felt like Max. Bathroom. Man, Joyce and William built a whole new bathroom for Chloe. They're so great. Yeah. 
Finally. Uh, give me the blue pill. I'm sorry. I'm nosy, but not precise. Go ahead and plug it right in. It's so easy. And painless. Um, okay, but get ready to yell for your folks if I screw up. Oh, trust me. I will. Yeah, you should. You definitely should. Of course, my pain just keeps getting worse. But you caught me on a good day. Max, I'm so grateful that I'm even able to hang out with you. See, I'm getting mushy. I'm already high. <laughs> You're so adorable. Do you want anything else? Um, stop me if I'm being too emo. But can you grab one of the photo albums over there? I'd like to check out some old pictures of us when we were kids. Please, my diary is like emo ground zero. Plus, Max Caulfield does not pass up a photo op with Chloe Price. Yeah, for sure. Ever. For sure. Just seeing if there's anything I missed as well. Chloe is still a punk at heart. But she can't stage dive anymore. So Black Flag tribute band. Pisshead. Low Pan's Eyes, Dorothy Twister is a great name. Groovy Ghouls is a great name for a band as well. That's so cool that Chloe has made friends online. Hot Wheels chat room. That's actually very, is that like, is that, that's actually very sweet to find other people that are going through what you're going through, right? So what are you doing? Uh, talking with you. Haha, <laughs> no shit. I want to binge uh, Quantum Leap. Oh my god, I love uh, Scott uh, Bakula, Bakula rules. So do you. I hope we can meet soon. No, if you're in San Francisco, hey, I have to take care of uh, some body work. Let me get back to you while you're uh, binging on Bakula. You better. Hello? So she hasn't talked to him in a bit. Nothing but medical supplies. Of course. She has to use a lot of lotion to keep her blood circulating. Yeah. I can only imagine. I can only freaking imagine. Chloe was a straight A student. She could have gone to any college. Life skills A, personal health A, practical practices and practical maths. <laughs> she was a she was really smart. She was so smart. At least when it came to mathematics, because there's different types of smart, isn't there? Take a look at these photos. Grab that photo yeah, we will. There and let's have a flashback. I do want to have a flashback. That sounds really be fun, first. actually. Wouldn't be my first. Yeah, exactly. Is that okay? Perfect. Oh my god. Look how little we are there. We look like toys. Mm. I remember that day by the lighthouse. My dad was pissed at us. He actually tried to give us a time out. And Is that strange because he's so nice? <laughs> My dad would have banished me. Whoa, Having to have us physically turn the page as well. We look so badass in our pirate gear. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. There's still time for you. We didn't read Victoria's message, but we, we will. We will. Oh, man. There we are making pancakes. I love that shot of us. It's hard to believe my dad took that picture only five years ago. Literally seems like yesterday. I wish it was. Me too. This photo... Oh, she's thinking she'd go oh, back again? Listen, Max. Okay, so she knows. She knows about it. She knows about it. And, uh, and it's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. So I know I'm just putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along. And I will too. This isn't how I want things to end. What? What are you saying? Oh, Jesus. I'm saying 
that being with you again has been so special. I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible and you made me feel that way today. I want this time with you to be my last memory. Do you understand? Yes, I do. All you have to do is crank up the IV to 11. I don't think I can do that. I don't think I can do that. I... I don't think I can do that. I really don't know if I can do this. I had another friend... Yeah, Kate. I wanted to end it all. And I did everything I could to try and save her life. How can I be responsible for ending yours? I mean... There's got to be another way. Max, you were there for your friend, no matter what. I, ca I can't. The same way. I, I want to help you, Chloe, but I, I think my help is hurting. At least you have a choice. When you want to make a decision, you can just do it. Yeah. Look at me. I'm at the mercy of everybody. Yeah. For once. I want to make my own choice. The most important one of my life. Please. Oh, help Chloe. Me I can't. I can. I can't. I cannot do this. And I understand that, like, you know, there will be a moral discussion about this, but, like, this is so heartbreaking, first of all. I'm so sorry that she feels this way. It's horrific. But I can't. I can't. Chloe. I can't. It wrecks me to see you in any pain. But I don't have any right to do this. I'm an adult. I'm giving you the right. But Joyce and William. I already said my goodbyes to them. But they won't honor my oh, wishes. Oh, she's already said goodbye to them. They won't you do can't. it. I, I can't kill you with an overdose. Max, I'm dying from my illness, not my dosage. This accelerates the process. I'd rather go out on a wave than a rock. It's so rough. And I want my best friend to help me out. I am going to help you, but not like that. So she wants to go back in time you again? You have to believe me, Chloe. Why, Max? You're just no. me, like everybody else. Why don't you go now? You've been wanting to since you got here. No, right? no, no, she hasn't. So go and We haven't been we, we 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 we've, we've enjoyed our time here. I am never leaving you again. Wait. I'm sorry. Wait, so we're actually going to go back in time? Just like we did before. Batman style. That's so bad that she feels that way, though. And it's not right that it's happening, you know, like... To anyone. That feeling that she has, you know? Someday Dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the Flash didn't scare you. Oh, we're going to have to let him go! This is a keeper. Hello? Hey, honey. What? Oh, no, I can't imagine what Max is even feeling right now. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. That's a dollar for the swear. Oh, no. Oh. Aha. You can't hide from me forever. <laughs> no Chloe and Max are on the basement set. Oh, God. Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world-famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for <sighs> Max, you'll be here too, right? This is so rough. That makes oh. sense. 
I couldn't imagine having this choice at all. Yeah, no. Max, you are being so fucking strange. Like you're never gonna see us again. Chloe, I'm so sorry. Oh God. I tried to make things different for you. I, I did try. I'm sorry. I don't know exactly what you're talking about, but come oh, on. Fucking hell. You have made things different, like my whole life. Yeah. You're my best friend. I've got you and a great family. What's to be sorry for? We'll be best friends forever. You better when be. We grow up, we're taking you absolutely world. better be. Listen, whatever happens, I want you to be strong. Even if you feel like I wasn't there for you. Because I will oh. never abandon you, Chloe. I'll always have your back. Always. <laughs> My little sweethearts, honestly. And now all this is going to be taken away. I'm reverting back to the original stuff. Jesus Christ. That's, that's taken away as well. The trip to Paris, everything. And then we're back to, to David Madison. She never got that car, that paralyzer. That's the car accident, his car. She was back friends with Rachel Amber. Now the things with Nathan, we're no longer friends with Nathan. We're not gonna be able to check that Victoria text. Sorry about that, guys. What is happening here? What was that? Plank of wood style. What was that? I'm in such a weird state right now. I am so sad and confused. Chloe, you're back. Oh. Whoa, whoa, down, Max. You get one kiss, and I fall over me. I'm just, I'm just, I'm so glad you're here. You sound high, but thanks for the morning. The morning group. <laughs> Since we were up all night playing CSI Arcadia Bay, I it was is so weird seeing her now, you know. Max, did you forget we've gone over this? I hope you weren't messing around with time while I was sleeping. I think we were. We were. I'm just spaced out too. Welcome back. Sorry for all the sniffling, and everything, guys. I think I can ever tell Chloe about what oh, well, How could you? It's impossible. Now you have to decide, like, in your mind. Well, not decide, but now it's in your head. Is this better for you? Well, like, for Max, it seems like it is. This is what she wants. She wants to be out with Chloe. Her friend just asked her, like, and especially what would happen with Kate. You have to understand, like, what happened with Kate definitely influenced that situation. What is two, two of your friends asking to die do to you <laughs> shaking her head <laughs> you guys care about each, each other a lot they just want to i'll sit here i'll sit here forever are you kidding me Let's look at the big board and see all our pieces in the puzzle so far. I think that's going to do it for this episode, guys. I'm in bits. <laughs> I'm in bits. Uh, this is a lot. It's a lot to deal with. Um, I wasn't expecting it to, to be that sad. Um, Chloe and Max's relationship is something that is extremely special. Um, the fact that we, we went from the kiss to all of that is insane. It's absolutely insane. I want to thank everybody to the cannot can I can never repay the big big exit here on Patreon. Tyfiro2, Jamie Bull, Jan the Banana, Normal Cara, Rachel S, the Ghost of Inazuma, 
Felicious Felix, George Candelaria, Escun, Yuld, Radish, Poker Girl, Fruity, Orange Bang, Summer Races, Def Trap, Anusa, Shibata Bread, and Malcolm Conde. Um, I'm in a, a different world right now, guys. An absolutely different world uh, to where I was, you know, a while back. It's, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot. Thank you.